with this Libra solar eclipse on the 14th of October 2023, we are focusing on relationships, relationships of all kinds, relationships with our partners, our business partners, our children, with everyone we deal with on a one-on-one -on -one basis in some way, but especially the people that we really share ourselves with, like our spouse or partner or business partner. Now, in during this time, a lot is coming up about the past. Um, you could be really coming into awareness of habits or patterns that you do in a relationship, things you do or do not do, do too much of, not do enough of in relationships or others can be bringing that to your attention. So there can be some difficult conversations that needs to be had at this time. There could be, um, you know, changes that you want to make, but you cannot make them yet. But you're becoming aware of what you need to let go of, either in your behavior, in your, in your own identity, when, you know, when in relation to someone else, or maybe something you've always done for many, many years that you know this has got to go, um, you know, whether it's in a habit, a pattern, or if it's a person, um, whatever the case may be. Um, this is something that's been coming a long while. Um, you may be ready for that change now. Maybe you're afraid of doing it. Uh, maybe you are afraid of being the bad guy in someone else's story. But this is a time where you need to remember that you do not want to fall back into the south node way of Libra or the negative vibration of codependency or um, saying yes when we want to say no, um, you know, losing ourselves in order to please others. Um, as that never turns out well and only brings resentment and disease in the end. But we are becoming aware of what is no longer good for us as Venus, the ruler of this um, eclipse, is in Virgo. So we're getting down into the details of what no longer is good for us and what is out of balance. How can we practically make changes in our everyday lives in these relationships or do they need to end? Maybe we want to end them, like I've said, but we cannot yet um, because of responsibilities or because of certain um, realities that we have to deal with first. But these things are coming into our awareness. So at this time, it's very important to listen to not only people's words, but to really see if their actions, Mars, is aligning with what they are saying. And do you, are you being seen? Are you being heard? Are you being felt? You know, how can you reword your conversations um, so that they're not taken, you know, in an offensive way? Um, what is your love language? You know, really bring all these things um, or all these things could be coming up for you in some way to review and to see where there needs to be a middle point um, of compromise or where there can be a middle point of integrating um, that, you know, independence with partnering, um, that, that freedom with um, compromise um, and so forth. But this is a time, you know, um, the, the energies are extremely strong right now. As we've seen with Israel, this eclipse is taking place on the ascendant in Libra of the Israeli chart. We had at the time when things were initiated, you know, we had Mars conjunct the south node, squaring Pluto, just um, stationing powerfully to go direct. And then this eclipse happening now on the 14th um, on their ascendant. And as we know, eclipses, you know, we are already in their energy at least about six months prior and post. And in this case, this eclipse has an effect of approximately five years, as that is the potency point duration um, of the eclipse period. And so we have a new beginning in the Libra areas of our charts, but there's first something that is being removed. 
And remember, during eclipse times, the veil is thin. There are doors opening and closing, people coming in and out of our lives. And we are redirected onto our path if we have not, if we have strayed. And so, and, but what I wanted to say was also that it's important to remember that when you do what is right for you, you're also doing what is right for the other person in that partnership. Because if it's not right for you, it's not right for them either, even if they are unaware of it at that time. So remember if you have to be the bad guy in someone else's story. This is also a time where we want to pay attention to our acid alkalinity balance, our kidneys, sugar intake, um, our adrenals. It's a great time to take a, a balancing herb um, such as um, a ashwagandha or astragalus during this time. And I wish you all a wonderful, blessed eclipse. Um, I do not recommend looking at an eclipse, um, but I do know that a lot of people will want to look at this one as it will be a ring of fire eclipse. So the sun will be darkened, the day will be darker, and um, but it will be this beautiful ring um, appearing and some people on the path of the eclipse that's going mostly through North and South America, through um, Nicaragua especially and so forth, um, will be able to, to see um, the eclipse. So it's important to also wear safety goggles, but like I said, the ancients believed you do not look at an eclipse and this is usually a solar eclipse. It's usually when there is a change in the guardians, a, cha a change in kingship, a change in rulership, you know, and um, kings used to hide during solar eclipses so that um, uh, they could stay safe and they would have someone else sit on the throne um, in order to make sure that um, they were out of harm's way. Well, have a blessed Libra solar eclipse. Until next time.